What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need in the first 60 seconds. And if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about two things. One, where the heck has Carolina Mike been? And two, what's a new way that we can make edits to a hero web part? Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. All right, everybody, let's address the first thing. Where the heck have I been? Well, I've been on a tennis journey. I'm a self-rated 3-0, USTA, NTRP, all that happy stuff. Been playing a lot of tournaments, practicing a lot. Yeah, just lots of tennis. Maybe there'll be some updates along the way. So far, I have won two tournaments back-to-back, -to -back, headed into a third tournament uh, coming up here July 13th, 14th, and 15th. Now, but we are back, and we are going to do our best to keep on that weekly rotation. If you've got things you want to know about, hit me up, and we will try to get your question answered. Now, let's get that timer rolling, and let's talk about this hero web part. So we're going to pop on into edit mode, and we're going to take a look at this web part. Now, this is the hero web part. It's basically just five buttons. With an, you can have an image there or a color block with a URL, and it's super cool. But you could have uh, one tile all the way up to five. As you can see, we've got five here. But let's say we want to make a quick change. And we want to change it from five to four. Well, we will click here. Okay. Now, check out, check out those clicks and what's going on here. So we've got two menus. We've got the, um, the menu for this button here, basically. Okay, for this, this tile. I think that's a better term for it. And we have this edit button here for the entirety of the web part. So we want to just hover here and take a look. Now, we've always had this edit web part pencil mark. But the new thing are these little uh, settings here. It's basically pulling a few settings out of this pencil and placing them here for quick access. So you can quickly go from 5, 4, boom, you're done. Or 4, 5. Now, if you want to do it the long way, you can certainly do that. And then there you go. Bam. Okay, that was your quick run through. Let's slow it down a bit. We'll talk a little bit more about the hero web part and recap what we just did. So hero web part, basically just a group of up to five tiles. You can throw a URL back there and people can click and go to places. Another cool thing is if the link points to a SharePoint video, it will play within the web part. As you can see right here, this video just starts firing up right in the web part. That's pretty slick. We'll show you how to add a new one and recap how to update the number of tiles. So all you got to do is go to the edit button. Boom. Now you're in edit mode. Quick tip. If you don't want to save anything that you're working on, you can hit discard changes. If you want to save it without having it published, you can save as a draft. All right. That way only the owners and the members would be able to see it, but visitors would not be able to see the changes. If we wanted to add a new web part, we would just click on the plus button and then pick a new hero web part. Pretty straightforward. We've got each individual tile here. We can click on the tile and you'll see we have two edit areas. This is for the entire web part. This is just for this particular tile. You can go on the edit button there and then you can add the URL. It can be internal or external. I do believe externals will open up in a new tab. Internals may not. If they cross sites, I believe they might open up in a new tab. If they're on the same site, most likely going to open in the same tab. Don't think there's a way to change that. It just is what it is. You got your title that will appear right here. And you can choose to show title or not if you want. If you want it to just be no text with just an image, uh, you can choose your um, auto selected. If you uh, put in the URL of a website that has some sort of default image that will pop up, um, otherwise, you know, you might get whatever, or you can go custom image where you upload your own image, uh, or you can also go to change here and you can pick from some of the stock ones within SharePoint, or you can go with a straight up color block. You can show a call to action if you'd like, which has a separate URL, or you can turn that off if you don't like it. And then here's how you change the text for that call to action. So this edit section here we talked about was just for this tile. Okay. But then if you want to edit the entire web part, you go up here and you can click on edit web part. You can take it from tiles to layers. I've never used this. It looks kind of funky, but I'm sure there's a use for it somewhere. And you can go one, two, three, four, or five tiles. But 
the new update, you can actually go over here and make those same changes with the tiles and layers or changing the number of tiles. You got the quick rundown. We got the in-depth step-by-step. Hope all the bases are covered. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share with someone who you think could take advantage of this information. Until next time, this is Carolina Mike saying SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard.